This is Kat from Kentucky Reptile Zoo. If you follow us on Facebook, you might have seen that we have posted paintings also in our online store. And today we're making some more. So we wanted you all to see how exactly we can get away with uh, having a venomous snake paint a picture. So our general setup is to lay out some newspaper to keep the floor as clean as we can, have a nice canvas, and we're using um, non-toxic washable paint like kids finger paint because it comes off really easily and it's non-toxic which is highly important. So uh, to prepare the canvas we just kind of dot it a bit throughout. Do, 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 do. Doesn't usually take very much. So this one's going to be done by a gaboon viper who is in here on the foot. So let's get this fell out. Hey bud. couple little things like trying to prod them a bit and then as they move away from the hook it creates a painting. I know. Usually these bigger bodied snakes kind of do this where they're scooting along. Something like a cobra will get a huge like, undulation across because they'll crawl away. takes a few minutes to poke him around a bit. So now you see, as I've been poking and prodding, he's been smearing and painting, and I know, but at one point he kind of crawled a little bit. And we had to stop and take a photo as well. So when someone purchases a painting, we take a photo of this part of the process where the snake is pretty much done, but he's sitting on the canvas. That way you get to see exactly which snake you get to see the artist that made the painting that you purchase makes it a bit more personalized and, and you, yeah you know verifiably who did it so yeah bud is that good i like when there are belly prints visible you can see the big wide belly scales on the ventral side they smear in lines across it which i think is neat i know you don't think it's neat but that's fine and then once we're done Try not to do this for too long with him. It's only been a few minutes. But I'm gonna get him off of there. <laughs> Without trying to mess up too many of his beautiful belly prints. And I have a pan or a tub full of water here. <laughs> He's like, no thank you. Get off the canvas, I'm messing it up. There, good idea, good idea. I put him in this tub of water. Usually the snake begins crawling because they're like, ah, I'm in a tub of water, which is good. That helps really get that paint off of there. And him scooting his belly along the plastic helps too. And then take a good look at him. It's nice and clean. You don't see any paint residue? Nope. All right. And back in he goes and he's done. So there it is, making a venomous snake painting, which will be available for sale in our online store. <laughs>